coming to us from Lucid Studios, a new beta to poke at that goes by the name of Switchblade. It's a 5 on 5 vehicular combat game that I actually rather enjoyed. Now when you start out, you've got a randomly generated pilot, so I went right for the customizer. There's a lot of pretty decent options right off the bat to uh, make him or her look the way you want. Uh, one word of caution, though, is that some of the eye presets get a little creepy. But once I had everything selected, colored, and in place, head on over to the play section to actually get an idea of how this game goes. Now there are four options here. Um, I did the tutorial earlier, but I was really pleased to see that there's a co-op versus AI bots. Um, so that to me seems like it's either going to be either online co-op or maybe even split screen, which I would love to see because I can see my nephews absolutely loving this game. Load times aren't too bad, even though it's a beta, because sometimes that can get a little ridiculous. But the main idea behind it is kind of a um, capture the point type of thing. If you remember the reactor uh, gameplay mode in Unreal Tournament. That's the idea here. I also loved the bot names here. Whopper, Ed209, Unicron, Autobot. Just absolutely lovely. Sharks vs. Lions. Didn't do too great on that, uh, on that co-op mode. So, uh, Let's tempt fate even more and go into an online ranked match. So here you pick two vehicles that you're going to have for the match, split up into a couple of different varieties that uh, favor speed or power, just a big tank type of thing for damage. Um, I'm guessing the artillery is probably going to be something that's a little bit more t for, like, long-range sniping. But uh, I decided to grab one all-around fighter and one scout sort of thing to, uh, to zip around in. I'll show you both. They really do seem to be pushing the eSports aspect of this pretty hard. I, I think they're hoping to strike gold here. Um, and judging from the beta, there's a lot of potential. I mean, every vehicle has its strength and weakness, and it's just so much more wide open, not quite as frantic as something like Overwatch, um, but a little bit more personal than something like League of Legends. So, I don't know. I think this this does fit a niche and uh, could be a lot of fun. Yes, I'm backing toward that tower. So, the, the way you need to uh, take down the enemy base is these towers will take out little automated bots, like what you see here. I'm blowing a couple of theirs up. And um, your bots are the only thing that can take down the shield for an enemy reactor. Once the shield is down, then you're able to actually go up to it and start whomping on it with your own weapons. You got a couple of different weapons. Uh, you got a primary, a secondary, and a super weapon. And uh, each one has cooldown after you use it. 
between matches or if you run into a shop while you're out and about, you can pick up boosts, some permanent for the match, some uh, one-time use, but uh, all of them pretty useful. Uh, you can switch your vehicle after you've died, or you can switch it on the fly by hitting the triangle button. Doing that in battle does carry a risk, though. Um, in the tutorial it says that your replacement ship can be shot down if you get caught while you're transferring, so there is that. Now, this vehicle is kind of weird. It's got a... Uh, it doesn't have a main weapon. The main weapon, per se, is actually a healing beam. So, like here, before I figured it out, I, I, I was not doing any damage, and I couldn't figure out why. Fortunately, you do have, you know, your secondary weapon, which is nice. But uh, once I figured it out, I went ahead and I started supporting my teammates, which I'm a big fan of support classes, so I was, I was pretty pleased to see this. So I was able to heal him, and then whenever my secondary was uh, fired up, I could fire out those missiles. One of the classes seems to be able to put down these... Uh, like, support blimps. That that seems kind of fun, too. Unfortunately, the battle did not go well. I was hoping that with this uh, particular vehicle I could heal the core, but if I was healing it, I wasn't healing it faster than he was damaging it. Time ran out and spared us that uh, tragedy. The sharks were defeated by the lions that day, but there was one bit, one silver lining, and that was me. My first online game, I managed to get an MVP award. Yeah, you show some love to those guns. So there's an early look at Switchblade by Lucid Studios. I had a lot of fun. I can see playing this game a bit more even in a somewhat competitive environment. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you want to watch the full stream, the link is right in front of you. Please subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys all later.